So let us get into linear regression. Linear models can be used for classification also. For example, we have a <coughs> model called perceptron. Please note it down. Perceptron. It is used for classification. So after I do the linear regression, take it as a homework, go and explore what is this perceptron. Do not go too much too far into this. What is a perceptron? How is it used for classification? Okay, And you will find all the answers that you need in your scikit-learn user guide. One thing I make sure is, I make sure that my students, they learn to use the manuals and the supporting documents so that they do not depend on anybody when they get stuck anywhere. And I will show you how to get it online also, we will see that also. That does not mean I am shying away from explaining to you the concepts, feel free to ask, but develop this habit of self-exploration. Linear regression, the term regression in this uh, linear regression, the name re linear regression, it indicates to you that we are going to predict some values, real numbers, not categories. Okay. The word regression has a history behind it. There was a statistician, I forgot his name, he was doing some research and he found out through his research, which apparently is wrong, that the height of a child always is an average height of the parents. That is the hypothesis on which he was working. And he was the first time, he was the first person to use the word regress. The height of the offspring regresses towards the average height of the parents. That is the term he used. That was his hypothesis, which was wrong actually. It is not right. <laughs> Some people spend time on these things. Okay. But he left behind this uh, term called regression. Okay. The term comes from there. In this term, the word linear. It is a major source of confusion. It is a major source of confusion and you will see on the web lot of discussions happening on this. Okay. The word linear comes from the word line. It comes from the word line. And in school we have been taught some properties of lines. One of the properties of lines is, hmm? yeah, it is infinite, infinity to infinity, yes correct. What is the other property of a line? It has no starting point, no ending point. It is infinite to infinite. <laughs> that, is, that, that is segment, part of the line. It is straight. Yeah. What we have been taught is line is always straight. It has same slope as some, some you are saying, right? That is what we have been told. So when we carry those concepts into our modeling, unfortunately in modeling that is not true. Okay. What do you mean by that? We will see this. So the word linear comes from the fact that these models, they most of the time look like lines or simple planes or hyperplanes. They are straight and they are infinity to infinity and they have a constant slope. Right? The model which is a linear model is usually expressed as a linear combination of the input parameters. What do you mean by this? 